29 Maori Avenue Southwest in Howard Lake, Stockholm Township at Forsman Farms for a fully engulfed commercial building. Coquito asking for tenders. Time is second page 2300. The scriptures speak about dark sayings. The scriptures speak about these dark sayings. Nobody wants to receive the dark saying. Proverbs 1 and 6. Nobody wants to receive the dark saying because it's unsettling. It's not, it's not, it's not appeasing to them. Read that. Proverbs 1 and 2. To know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, and judgment and equity. This, what we're giving you is wisdom. We're giving you wise counsel about the last days that we're living in. Nobody else is telling you. Nobody's telling you. You got these big mega church guys, Joe Creflo Dollar, T.D. Jakes, uh, Joe Osteen, and they ain't saying a damn thing about what's coming, man. They ain't telling you about the destruction of America. They ain't telling you about the famine that's coming. The famine is here, man. All they're talking about is just trusting Jesus and prosperity. You got people flocking to these damn churches, giving them every last dime, still going home broke. Still going home trying to figure out how to make ends meet, man. When you want to come out and hear the word, you come out and hear the words of the prophet that the Lord set up, man. And we want to tell you the truth. There's bad times coming, man. Evil times are coming. If you got kids, you got family, you better hope and pray that the Lord guides you to where you're going to be able to get some food. Because they're running out of food. Joe Biden keeps telling you people. Yeah, we're running out of food. It's going to be bad. It's going to be an ugly summer. It's going to be grim. And people ain't paying attention, man. You ain't paying attention, you won't get caught out there. And that's where we're going to go back to 2nd Ezra to 15th chapter and finish that out. Go ahead. Oh, Jeremiah 28 verse 8, the prophet that had been before me and before thee of all prophesied both against many countries they get great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Jeremiah said the prophets that were before him did the very same thing that he did. And we're saying the very same thing that Jeremiah did about the war, the evil, and of pestilence. If you don't understand it and you don't receive it, then the Lord don't want you to receive it. And you will be destroyed. Bottom line. But going back to the fact of the matter is this, ain't nobody telling you about what's happening in the world, man. Go ahead. This is uh, Zephaniah 1 and 11. How ye inhabitants of Maktesh, for all the merchant people are cut down, all they that bear silver are cut off. Now, the modern day Mac Tesh is the New York Stock Exchange, man. That's that modern day Mac Tesh. That's where money and, and goods were exchanged over there. Okay? And in, 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 in reality, that stock market was all about the selling and, 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 and bartering of the so called Negroes, man. If you want to get down to nuts and bolts, that's why that stock market was built up. That's why they got, they got sales underneath that stock market. They go down there and grab a few niggas. Bring them up to the podium, have them stand up there. We got a big strong buck here. What can I get for them? This place is finished, man. America's wicked. The whole system's wicked. The whole system is wicked. And we sit here and we tell you how wicked it is, and we get labeled as what? Oh, we're, we're racist. When you devils came over here killing the North American Indians, but everybody forgot about that. <laughs> Um, this is um, Second Esther 622 And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown You hear what he said? He says, and suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown You're going to wake up one morning and it's going to be on, man You're going to wake up and life is going to be totally different From what you knew it to be, man Watch, go ahead The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. Go ahead. The four storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. And they're working their way to that point, man. They're working their way to that point of being found empty. And when you go into, you know, your local Walmarts, stopping shops, you know, whatever place you got in your area, you're going to realize one or two things, man. The shelves are empty and the prices are going through the roof, man. Going through the goddamn roof. I went and picked up a couple things last night, man. I spent damn near $60 for shit that went in one bag. $60 worth of shit that was in one bag. And they charge you for the bag. 
Yeah, not, not, not Walmart. They didn't give me a Walmart. But it's just a matter of time. A Walmart that charge you for the bank? And listen, man. They, they listen. They're putting a stronghold on you, people, man. They make you uh, make you bag your own shit too. Yep. Yeah. You better. They don't even have cash. Uh, cash. Uh, yeah. You better wake up. You people better wake up. They even starving out the animals, man. There's even a shortage of fucking animal food, man. They going right across the board. This devil, this devil, he, he's, he's stopping at nothing to kill you people, man. Oh, the, the, the formulas. Hey, yeah, remember, no, the yeah, formula. we mentioned that. I we, seen a, 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 a clip of an Edomite crying his, his ass out because he got a newborn. You know what I'm yep. saying? He can't get no formula. Yep. Well, you know? well, unfortunately, all those who are outside the sanctuary, you most like you and your kids are going to die, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what, just read the headline. Yeah, yeah, so read the headline. Read the headline. headline. And he says, um, this is from um, NPR.org. He says, with food prices climbing, the UN is warning of a crippling global shortage. You see that? With the UN, the, what was this? With food with, prices with climbing. Food, with food prices climbing, the UN is warning of crippling global shortages, man. What does that mean, crippling, man? Mean you ain't you gonna have a hard you gonna be hard pressed to find some food, man. To find a morsel of food. You're gonna be hard pressed, man. Now that's why, and listen, you people but listen, the prophets are telling you from the head of apostles on down, we're giving you, we're giving you sound advice right here. If you outside the sanctuary, you people better go. And even within a, even within the realm of who we are, you know, we're wise, we're gonna get a little bit of water, get a couple perishable goods, not perishable goods. We get a few things. We ain't going crazy with it, but at the same time, you people better go out there and stock your damn shelves. Don't be walking by like it's all gravy, because you're gonna get to that door one day and pull it, it's gonna be locked, man. Likewise with these banks. These banks gonna do the same damn thing, man. Are you surprised about how strong the sustainability theme has been right through the pandemic? No, um, I would see even a, a chance to, to, um, uh, to accelerate, uh, let's say, our uh, uh, transition into a green economy. Therefore, we have to move faster. That's what has to happen. We need to promote and embed a financial architecture that is fit for the challenges of tomorrow and that helps accelerate the transition towards a more digital and more green euro area economy. It is a challenge. It would be easy to revert back to our turf, to our behind our borders and to assume that Life will continue as it was. We cannot let a good crisis go to waste. We have to use it to be strength, stronger the day after.